Queen back here with another hair tutorial. Basically, I'm going to be doing my Lazy Day hairstyles. As you can see from this Instagram post right here, you guys love this hairstyle. So I went ahead and did a video for you guys. Alright ladies, we're going to hop right into it. I'm going to be taking my 24 hour edge control tamer. And then I'm going to also take a brush. I got this one from Walmart. It's pretty dirty, but who cares? And we're going to jump into it. Basically, you're going to apply the edge control on the sides of your hairline as well as a little bit into the hair. Just to work your way, your way up and to make it smooth. Go ahead and smooth it out with the brush. And after you do that, you're going to go ahead and take some bobby pins and pin your hair up. Now, you see me taking the bobby pins really far up only because my hair is thick and it tends to weigh down like over the bobby pins. So, I kind of want it to set this way. So in order to get it to set as high as you want it, pin the bobby pins a bit higher than you usually would. And then you're going to go ahead and pick it out and just make sure everything is uniformed, what I like to call it. Do your little baby hairs, whatever you got to do. And yeah. those bobby pins out and apply some edge control around the back of your hairline and on the sides as well and you're going to take a brush and basically smooth that out I know I got some taco meats in my kitchen but again who cares this is just a real video I'm going to just go ahead and smooth that out and then you're going to take some bobby pins and place the bobby pins around where you want your hair to be smooth at and where you want it to be puffy <laughs> Remember to place the bobby pins higher above where you want your hair to fall just so your hair doesn't weigh down over the bobby pins. And pick the hair out because you know you're going to have to kind of keep it together while you're pinning it for it so it doesn't be all bunched. Okay, I think this is style number three. Now, I did this in a video before, but I just went ahead and did it again just because it's different curls for this puff. But I applied some edge control to my hairline. And I'm going to take a broken headband and tie it in the back and then move it forward to create a high puff. I don't think I really picked it out at the top this time. I just used my fingers to fluff it out a little bit more because it's kind of flat top and you do not want a flat top puff. Through. I don't even know how to roll my R's, but you're gonna take a bandana. Now I fold it in a big triangle and then I fold it over one more time to make it smaller. And then I'll tie it in the front and tuck the ends under. Again, self-explanatory, really simple, easy. And it also can spice up your regular old puff to make it look like you actually did something for the day, but really you didn't. But that's what I'm the queen of. We all know that. I'm just going to take my big silk scarf and tie it in a big triangle and tie it once around my head as you can see. Tie it in the back because it is a big scarf. And I'm going to tuck those ends under at the top of the scarf to expose my hair a little bit more better. Now this looks like you really did so much your hair but really you didn't. <laughs> but who really cares for real. So yeah I did this one in another previous video but I went ahead and did it in this one because my hair is a bit curlier in this video. Which I thought it looked pretty nice. It made me look like a little kid. And you're just going to take a scrunching tight around one time. And leave it as it is. And you can go ahead and do your edges and baby hairs if you would like. But you don't have to. But this would be the end of the video. Again, if you like my twist out, check the link below. And it's going to be a link that you can go to on my updated twist out that I just uploaded. Thank you ladies. <laughs>